Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot.com. Today I will show you how to create a word table using C sharp programming in Windows form. So uh, let's start it. Uh, open a new project in Visual Studio uh, in the Windows form. Add a simple button here. Uh, when we click on the button, then create a table by C by the three and the four by the four columns okay so drag and drop a button control and change on the text of the button that is create word table uh, this is too much simple uh, to create a word table but understand uh, is too more complex Okay, so when we click on it, then generate a method stub in which we can write the logic of the function. So first of all, add a reference for the word MS Word. You can say delete the service reference, add a reference, and type it here system. dot there is the office tool so you can use Microsoft Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word there is the Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word add it uh, successfully added that reference now you can add that library uh, namespace Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot part here Microsoft oops system dot uh, reflection dot missing dot value okay so end of the document there is end document end of doc doc file Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word application there is not available here is a class underscore application so create instance of that application Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word dot application dot underscore application is there. So again Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word dot for the applications we can use for documents. So document doc object. Okay. Inside the application we can write the document. So first of all create a application. Uh, which is available in Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word namespace and that dot uh, dot underscore application here is a class okay so create an instance that application app object and similarly for the document object okay so create a object of the application by using new operator new Microsoft dot office dot inet op dot word dot application similarly 
for the document application object dot visible is true document object is equals to pass by using application object because that application uh, document object uh, inside in the application object so application object dot documents dot add the reference what object missing comma Ref, uh, object missing object missing and object meeting missing there is four column in in object in document object okay use microsoft.office.inet op word uh, namespace to create a table inside in it so we have a table class in so create a object of the table uh, you can set the range of the word uh, word document by using range class that is also available in that namespace which is shown on your screen by using document object dot bookmarks oops get underscore item and what types of item you can add it here actually there is uh, no Intellig uh, there is no options for intelligence but uh, get item get underscore item is a method in the bookmarks so reference object end of document dot range where your document range where your document end then you can define your range okay so the table object takes a document object doc object dot tables dot by using the document object you can create a table so tables dot add the ra uh, range of word here is a three rows and four columns and the table behavior is type missing sorry object missing okay here we have three rows and four columns table object dot range what is the range of the table object is paragraph format dot space after it okay take a string value for loop uh, that i it uh, iterate for the rows and j iterate for the columns okay so is already defined i and j so remove it here now copy that message which is inside in the table str 
row of i plus column of j okay that's the message which is inside in the table so table object dot cells of i comma j you can print it dot range dot text string table object of the row of i sorry row of one dot range dot font dot bold is one the width of the font is one this dot class and that is apply for your form this dot class so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to windows form and c sharp that's your code here there are three rows and the four columns so thank you thank you very much again please subscribe my channel if you skip then you lose something so please subscribe it